And now, a letter to the New World Order. Dear World Economic Forum, how are you? I know you're probably busy planning for next year's multi-million dollar elite shebang where you fly private jets that emit as much CO2 in a week as 350,000 cars so you can all sit around in expensive suit jackets with slacks of various colors to tackle your self-proclaimed goal of tackling the dire ongoing crisis of climate change and inequality by lecturing the rest of us on how it's our fault so we need to eat the bugs and be happy with owning nothing. At least you're really showing you care about inequality by paying all those prostitutes you bring in for the week a fair living wage. You're probably still assimilating all of this year's hard work on improving the world's state, or I mean, state of the world, through public-private cooperation by shaping global regional and industry agendas, just like the ones that no one else ever voted for ever. You know, it sure must be cold up there in the Swiss mountains in the winters, but hey, at least you'll never have to worry about potential hypothermia. <laughs> Seeing as how five straight days of scheduled hourly ass kissing sure works up a lot of body heat. <laughs> oh, not to mention you have all that extra CO2 you've produced misusing the phrase think outside the box, which you could forgive us all for assuming is probably more than all seven plus billion of the rest of us combined ever could even if we tried. I sure hope you bring that one guy back so he can talk more about how we are one of the last generations of human beings on Earth. We are probably one of the last generations of Homo sapiens. Because you plan to engineer bodies and brains and minds. Engineer bodies and brains and minds. Then use all that data you've hoarded to become the future masters of the planet. Will the future masters of the planet look like? This will be decided by the people who own the data. Those who control the data control the future, not just of humanity, but the future of life itself. It's a weird flex, but hey, you do you. Bodies and brains and bodies and brains and bodies and brains. They're coming to get you, Barbara. But bodies and brains and minds. Oh. You know, I had a dream we live in a world where all it takes to rise to the top is a little hard work and dedication, and an annual membership that costs between $62,000 and $620,000 a year, plus a $29,000 event ticket each year, plus additional fees, travel costs, and at least five nights hotel accommodations and all that jet fuel for the private jet to go to Davos, Switzerland where one sycophantically kisses up to global corporate elites and pretends to be enthralled by how many times some guy in a suit who paid the big bucks to sit on a panel on a blue stage in a blue room so he could work corporate jargon buzz phrase babble into coherent and almost meaningful complete thoughts like about how in these unprecedented circumstances your team building has the bandwidth to pivot and move the needle to achieve synergy. You know, up to now, I kept thinking that everything science did was good. My training, I suppose. Now I'm not so sure. The same blue room where soon to be 21st century hereditary monarch, because that's still a thing, and Great Reset announcer Prince Charles. Systems level framework, global value creation, outlining responsible transition pathways to a circular bioeconomy. Who you all actually crowned with the UN goals like the craziest game of televised dress up of literally all time, stood at a podium and said the phrase sustainable markets. Uh, sustainable markets. Like 8,000. 347 times. Sustainable Markets Initiative. Sustainable Markets. Sustainable Markets. My Sustainable Markets Initiative. Sustainable Markets and Markets rooted in sustainability. While you sat in the audience and pretended it doesn't make you want to fall asleep in slow motion like the van falling off a bridge in some inception level nether dimension of the fourth realm of the dream world your mind goes to to hide in, because deep down you know you sold your soul to the tulpa of commerce, the skexies of humanity summoned upon us centuries ago, and you still aren't sure what you're going to do with your life if your god dies. So the plan you came up with is to just keep trying to scare the rest of us by having a guy who literally looks straight out of white cat petting central casting for a Bond film and even occasionally dresses like Emperor Palpatine tell us all how it's gonna be, that we'll actually listen and go along with what you say. Despite the fact that you all seem about as able to conceive of what the average person in this world needs as the average person in this world is able to catch a break from you control freaks attempting to micromanage all aspects of our lives all aspects of our lives and shape the world as the control freaks you and your handlers are just because you've flown in more private jets than we have. I know it was all just a dream. But you 
you still really creep me out? Sincerely, me. 